I'm going to show you right now how to test your Shopify storefronts MCP server. So as you know, Shopify recently partnered with OpenAI, ChatGPT, to establish a native connection between the LLM and your storefront. This will enable AI agents to get all of the relevant product information, FAQs, shipping and return policies, and have the ability to search catalogs, add to cart, initiate checkout, and purchase products on behalf of a consumer. Shopify has this native integration, so brands don't really have to do anything. This is already set up for you. But you do need to check that your MCP server is functioning. I've gone through a few brands that actually aren't set up properly, and they're going to have to troubleshoot why and, and make sure that their endpoint is established and accessible. So when you get to platform.openai.com slash playground, I'm going to give you the link at the bottom of this video on the blog page so you can click right through it. You're going to land on this chat GPT playground and you're going to have to load some money into your account to be able to run through these tests, which you're going to need credits anyways on chat GPT premium to have any automations in the future. So once you're here, you go to the model is going to be GPT 4.1 tools select mcp server you're going to see that shopify is right here has that integration now you're going to click that it's going to ask you for a store url so let's do davidprotein.com i love david protein bars they're literally my fuel every day so let's see how their mcp server is and if it's functioning so yes we want the llm the ai agent to be able to ac access all these different tools getting the cart, updating the cart, getting the product details. And so now we're ready to test it. You can see David Protein Shopify was selected here. Now you're going to type in a prompt. Imagine you're an AI agent transacting on behalf of a consumer that's interacting with ChatGPT. You want the AI agent to type in things that it would want to know. So what products do you sell and who are they best for? Now it's searching David Protein. Okay, make sure that the context is right so the AI agent understands what you're looking for. Now it's searching through David's catalog. It's critically important the catalog has all the right metadata, all the right copy. Boom, so here's all the different products, what it is, who it's best for. Everything looks pretty good. Now, what if I have a nut allergy? Are these bars safe to eat if I have a nut allergy? Let's see. Okay, uh, this is big. So a few different flavors have peanut ingredients. Clearly it'll tell us what to avoid. There might be cross-contamination because they might be made in the same factory. So very good info here. Okay, now let's just say, okay, I want that chocolate chip flavor bars. Can you buy it for me? Customer wants to purchase chocolate chip cookie dough. Perfect. We approve. Now the assistant is going to see how it can transact for me. Boom. It got the right one to buy. You can just click here to purchase directly there. Now it's going to actually take me to the brand's website. Once Shopify checkout is embedded in ChatGPT, which we know is coming, it's getting worked on as we speak, then we won't have to link out. But let's just say we want the AI agent to complete the cart for me so I can just start the session on the website in checkout already. Now I'm asking if the product can be added to cart and are there any discounts that can be added to the cart as well? Boom. Product is added to cart. We can view or check out the cart here. Now it's saying that there is no automatic discount applied. Would you like me to check for available bundles if we have a discount code to use? No. Okay, so couldn't find us any discounts. Are there any deals? available on site all 
Okay, so there's no deals, no discounts, but send me the checkout with this product in the cart. So now I'm asking the agent to just give me the link to the checkout with the product populated. Now we're proceeding to checkout. Look at that. Fully populated. And it logged me into my ShopPay account. There we go. Agent is working. We're in good shape. David has their MCP server endpoint functioning just fine. Now go back, go through these steps, check if your brand is functioning well. If the wrong information or incomplete information is being returned, that means you have some SEO work to do so that the agent can scrape the appropriate information. Have fun.